Is that good luck to see a locust? I wouldn't think so. After packing up camp, we headed south with a brisk tailwind. Gradually, the dunes that flattened out to the horizon yesterday rose again with the animation of the wind. But this was where the desert finally started showing signs of life. Well, past life. So this is it? This is it. It's called Spearhead Plateau, because if you look carefully, you'll find tons of spearheads. So maybe a battle was fought here. I wonder, I really wonder like if these guys went out to battle and they just send them one big knock them out. They all came out yeah. and got hit by an asteroid. So I think those are places where the people kill an animal or it's a fight. That's something. It's like an archaeologist Easter egg hunt. Oh, totally right. <laughs> Nearby was a more well-known site that was brought to the Sahara all the way from space. We managed to make it through to the Silica Glass Valley, which it's about a two-day trip. You really have to commit to go and see it. I've heard about this place. The Silica Glass Valley, huh? Look at that. This is the purest glass on Earth. Normally, you make glass by burning sand with other chemicals to make it melt at a lower temperature. So you don't have to heat it up so much. To get pure glass, you gotta burn it at 2,000 degrees Celsius for like five or six days. So where did this stuff come from? Technically out here, it was a lake of molten for a few years. Asteroid the size of Manhattan hit this place. Just the, uprooted all the rock from way down cataclysmic event created these valleys which are like 175 kilometers long. It's insane, man. Underneath, there's supposed to be tons of this under all these valleys. Now you can barely find any on the surface because of, you know, tourists. So what we should do is put it all back for other people to find. We continued on to find a good campsite along this line of dunes that reminded me of huge waves of sand crashing along a shoreline. And with the haze going off into oblivion, it really felt like the Sahara was closing in on us, you know, as if we were on an island. You know, or maybe that's just my subconscious already eager to find water. 